The first women's soccer team at Pensacola State College. Members and coaches were announced today. WKRG News 5's Alexa Daly tells you what this means for the soccer community and about planned upgrades to the college's facilities. Future Lady Pirates and new head coach Mark Yepshin are excited to take the field this fall as the first women's soccer team at Pensacola State College. Of the future players is Milton High School student Paige Phillips. So I hope that we be, are able to create a great bond with each other and then go in. Like, that's our goal. And within the next three to four years, the team will have a field at PSC to win on. A new soccer complex and field will eventually replace the existing intramural field on campus. The field is expected to cost about $1 million and will also be a location for youth teams to play on. The, the goal with anything that we do is, is not just to utilize it for our, our specific sports, uh, but for the community to utilize it. I mean, we, we want to get as many people on campus as we can, uh, whether that's youth playing soccer or if we're hosting graduation out there. You know, anything that can be done on a field, you know, we look forward to hosting and having. This season, the team will play at the Ashton Bronson Soccer Complex, where the SEC Women's Soccer Tournament was held last fall. The college says plans for the team have been in the works for the past few years after seeing the need from the thousands of youth and high school soccer players in the community. We looked at what are the fastest growing uh, or the most popular sports uh, that, that are going on right now. Uh, from there, obviously, soccer is a huge one. You know, growing up in Pensacola when I was a kid, it was baseball, and, and now it's soccer. You know, you drive by uh, uh, any of the parks on Langley over here, you know, they're packed, and, and they're all playing soccer. The school received a grant from the NJCAA last year to get the program off the ground, but will look to its boosters for additional funding to sustain it. In Pensacola, Alexa Daly, WKRG News 5.